you can clearly see that this balloon will not stick to the wall. However, if I rub it against this cloth for long enough, and put it against this wall, it can stick. So how does that work? Well, let's find out. The balloon sticks to the wall due to static electricity. All objects are made up of atoms, and atoms are extremely small, and they themselves are made up of three types of even smaller particles. Some of these particles are charged, and it's these that we're going to look at today. Some have a positive charge, and they're called protons, and some have a negative charge, and they're called electrons. Usually most objects contain similar numbers of protons and electrons, and so overall have no charge, as they have the same number of positive and negative charges, like my t-shirt and balloon here. However, we can change this situation. When I rubbed the balloon on the t-shirt, some of the electrons were transferred onto the balloon. This means that the balloon now has more negative than positive charges, and we would say that it has a negative charge overall. Now, when I hold it near to the wall, the overall negative charge will attract the positive charge in the wall. This force of attraction is strong enough to hold the balloon against the wall. Well, it does at least for a while. So what have we learned from this demonstration? Let's fill in the bottom of page one of our electricity booklet. We've learned that some objects can have a charge. We've learned that the positive charges are called protons, and we've learned that the negative charges are called electrons and that they can move. We've also seen that opposite charges attract each other, and later we'll see that similar charges can repel. You now have three minutes to add that information into your booklet.
So you should have completed page one. So let's turn over to page two. First up in page two, you've got five different definitions of five key words that we've met so far. Your first task is to match them up. Here are the five key words that you need to match up and you've got five minutes to do it.
So let's see how well you did. An object that has gained electrons as a result of the charging process is negatively charged. An object that has lost electrons as a result of the charging process is positively charged. Tiny particles which are part of atoms and carry a negative charge are electrons. When materials are rubbed together, electrons move from one surface to the other, is known as being charged up. And the non-contact force between two charged objects is the electrostatic force. For the last part of the lesson, I want you to think about what could be happening here. How could you make this situation occur with a balloon and a light plastic ring? To help you think about it and to think about the reasoning behind it, I'm going to leave you with a collection of tricks that you can also play using static electricity.